I think that, uh, you know, at that point in, in the history of uh, college basketball, the NIT was considered, I think, the, the more major of the tournaments. There were still both tournaments, but at that point, uh, NIT, I think, was a little bit more prestigious. In, in the larger tournament, the better teams went to that tournament. So, uh, as far as we're concerned, as, as, from DePaul's standpoint, that was a national championship. But, uh, George Mikan was just coming onto the scene. He was the leading scorer in the country for a couple of years there, and I think he was really responsible for being the first really dominant big player in basketball. And a lot of that was um, from working with Coach Meyer. You know, Ray, Ray Meyer came here as a young coach, and uh, George Mikan was just developing as a player at that point. Ray did a lot of things that really revolutionized basketball with uh, George in the sense they worked speed bags and jumped rope and played ping pong and did a lot of things to work on George's hand-eye coordination. Had him do uh, the, the mic and drill, which is still named after him, the shooting with your left and right hand alternating at the basket. Uh, a lot of things like that were developed to develop a, a player of mic and size so that he could be the type of player he was and, and dominate uh, not only college basketball, but he went on into the NBA and they won championships uh, in, in the NBA also with him being a dominant player.